Speaking of floor trusses, we should point out that the ones for both the first and second floors come from a different factory than the walls. It's also where the roof trusses are being made, so we'll show that process when we get to that point. Now, if you like a little history mixed in with your how-to, this particular company's been in business making things from wood for 125 years. And during World War II, they actually made the wooden wings, floors, and control surfaces for about 1,500 gliders. And these were used in landings critical to the war effort. Of course, most of those gliders were left behind on the battlefield. But in one corner of the factory, some older glider fans are in the process of rebuilding something very similar to what the originals would have looked like. And it's an effort fully supported by the current president, Nick Linsmeyer, whose great-grandfather actually started the company. How'd you guys get involved in that? The government wanted to design a plane that didn't utilize airplane manufacturers, so they designed a glider out of wood and steel and canvas, and we were asked to be the prime subcontractor for the wood. All of our product was built at our plant and shipped over to a plant in Minnehaha Avenue in St. Paul, and they did further assembly with the metal parts. So. so how did this whole glider project all come about then? Several years ago, there was some interest from the Historical Society to document about the gliders, and coincidentally there were some ex-military guys, retired guys, that wanted to do something about the gliders. So they found real glider parts, and they kind of looked at me and says, I wonder where we could start building the glider, and I had some room here, so it's been about a year and a half at this point. How often do you guys work on it? Uh, Tuesdays and Fridays, twice a week. They found some metal parts, and there was a lot of wood that are little tiny pieces, and so we've been working with them on all the pieces and parts. It seemed to me William built about 13,000 pieces wood parts for for the glider, for each glider. For each glider there. Yeah. I, saw, I saw a list of 40,000 wooden parts in this glider, not going in. Right. Yeah. Of the 14,000 gliders made in World War II, there's less than six fully assembled. So this is very rare. And when we sat in the glider, there's very few people that could say that, that we've sat in a glider. So it has a tremendous historical interest as well as just exciting to see a real plane and we're excited about being part of it. So the guys said they'd be able to wrap up the project probably by the end of the year. They just weren't exactly sure which year that would be. We'll keep you posted on that.